Greetings everyone, this is First in 2753 with a, another episode of Principia uh, Masters of Science playing as Isaac Newton. We are currently in Paris and it is the year of 1670, uh, October of 1670. Isaac Newton is 28 years old, I think he's one of the youngest scientists in the game. Um, I was just looking at the scientists too and I wanted to show something. Whoop, that's not what I wanted. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, what was I looking at? We are specializing particularly in the field of optics and we have one competitor interested in that field and that is Isaac Barrow. Isaac Barrow is a member of the Royal Society of London. He has a lot of fame. Um, me personally, personally, let's see. Oh, I am the authority in the field of optics. Nice. I'm currently the authority. I thought there was more, um, oh, look at that. Okay, so I've published a paper on, um, research that, uh, light from one source interferes with itself. And that has a 70 rating and an 80% 80, 80 completion. I'm not sure what all these numbers mean, but I, am, I did publish it at the French Academy of Sciences. And the other paper I also published at, the, oh no, this one I published at the Royal Society of London, which has a lesser rating. This talks about how light refracts as it passes through a medium. Now, I do know that there is another, let me just go back to, oh, here I am. All right, so here's all my discoveries in the areas of this position of light. Two of the discoveries I've published work on. Um, there's also the fact that light passes obstructions, which that one, I think I can go ahead and publish that one. Well, I can't publish it yet, but I can finish it and publish it and get some fame. The other one, light is, speed of light is infinite. Uh, that is actually false, and I am, my strategy is to actually get, um, Barrow. I'm hoping that, oh, that's Boyle. Where is Barrow? I know I can, there he is. He's up in Cambridge. Isaac Barrow. I'm hoping that Barrow publishes something on that, because if he ends up publishing... Oh, he wrote something, but I published, I beat him out there. He published something in geometry, so he might be moving into geometry, who knows. That might just give me the area of this position of light uh, solely. But if he does end up publishing... Ah, he has the theory. The speed of light is infinite, but he has not published anything yet. He hasn't even composed anything yet. If he does, then I'm going to try to refute it. I know there is um, a discovery on the fact that uh, light is, uh, the speed of light is finite. And so I'm hoping to sort of wait until Barrow, you know, takes that leap. And uh, then I'm gonna hopefully crush him pretty much, is basically the strategy. And, in doing so, cr crushed the uh, Royal Society of London, whose um, current authority is only at 84, while the Royal Society of Paris authority is at 129. And I'm going to be publishing, uh, therefore, everything there, and I'll probably end up trying to apply there, I guess, and um, just knock down London and raise up Paris. I guess that's my strategy. Uh, I like the fact that I'm in Paris. They have a university here that's pretty decent. Its academics are rated 40. Cambridge's academics are actually higher in universities. And there's a way to look at this, actually. Where was that? Not there. Not there. I was just looking at it. Other information. Here it is. Okay, nice. So you can look up all the different scientists here. I am one of the youngest. There are two younger than I am. Uh, fame. I am more famous than John Betcher, who's uh, older than me. And uh, 
Oh, I forgot who posted this. Uh, Anton von Luenhock. Somebody posted this and uh, gave me a nice little story on the on one of the videos about uh, their science teacher. Um, and I'm gonna try to stay away from this guy and his fields, as re as was recommended to me. Um, but we have a long way to go before we get to the top of the list, anyway. We might be surpassing him in fame, which Isaac Newton, I think, is probably more famous historically than all these guys, right? So I should try to, I should pass everybody. Um, of course, this is my first, first game, so. Well, second game, actually. Uh, so you also have aptitude here. This is interesting. Optics. So S is, looks like it is higher than a, S must be superior. But in optics, no one has that ranking. Christian Huygens has an A in optics, and so does uh, Anton over there. Um, but they have not gone into disposition of light at all yet. So there's a lot to keep track of, I guess. Not too much, but, you know, it keeps me busy. Oh, here's what I wanted to uh, show you. Paris has an academic rating of 40, while Cambridge has an academic rating of 50. So Cambridge is the superior university in this game. Uh, Leipzig, Leiden, and Bologna also are possible universities. So there's five universities. Um, cities, there's tons of cities. Oh, and they have the observatories. Academies, only the two academies, Paris and London, but then there's also observatories. So observatories, and the observatories do have equipment ratings. Paris's observatory is top notch with uh, Greenwich. Um, Danzig has one. I don't know why you would go to some of these other lesser ones though. So I'm in Paris. That's where I am. I guess. Um, being at one of these universities gives you income, which does help. So, and here are the papers that have been published. Uh, most of them have been published in theory, it looks like. Uh, one in existence, interesting. And then one in sketch, which is the plant. Robert Hooke drew, uh, did a paper of an enlarged view of a leaf. So, they're all published, so I don't know why that column is there, but the topics are interesting for me, because I get to look at who else has published them. Isaac Newton is the only one that has published in the disposition of light. Two in one field. The rest are spread out. And I don't think anyone else has two papers. So we're ahead of everyone in papers. That's cool. So that's where I am right now. Uh, he's telling me that he needs to conduct further reasoning. And my reasoning in the disposition of light is, does need to cover some ground. Uh, there are three more discoveries in that field. But then there's also mathematics. And I don't have any reasoning or calculation here. Drawing instruments. I'm not sure if drawing instruments actually helps mathematics or not. That would probably help in like geometry or something, but I've got a prism and a lens here for disposition of light. So disposition of light seems to be the one area where I, you know, specializing in. Uh, and I got a big advantage, but I, I know eventually I'm gonna want to move into other areas. Let me just go ahead and do some reasoning. I'm not sure I need these two anymore, the prism and the lens, because I've like topped out my experiments. Let's try reasoning, because we've maxed out our experimental uh, level here. All right, rather than colors being distinct types, it would appear more correct to say each color possesses particular specific values. Reasoning up eight points, very good. So that was very good. What did everybody else do? Anton was corresponding with somebody, that's going really quickly. Oil, reading, reading, corresponding, reading, disposition of pendulums, 
practicing disciplines paper on a large view of something was published what was that Anton is completing his paper or not he hasn't completed it. mayfly was written a mayfly that sounds like biology I don't know what that is Isaac Newton we're not moving practicing is this one ready to dynamics what does that mean exactly I don't remember what practicing gave me I'm gonna go ahead and practice this one's related to optics and see actually let's try mathematics we're ahead in our field so let's explore another field and see what that does Ah, we've done this before I think pi it's been about a week since I played so I apologize if I'm repeating myself pi we got pi okay pi's figured out and skills in mathematics went up plus five all right got some people moving around a lot of moving reading a book mathematics Ooh, I got a mathematic competitor well there you go Anton has become the authority the examination of insects Okay, trying to prove the theory of principal component of comet. Comets is metal. Okay. I think I'm <clears throat> pretty far ahead. What I think I might do, actually, is to ensure that that one paper I have that this theory is fully proved before anyone else gets there because then once someone is getting close to that theory I could probably just publish compose and publish let's try to prove it here we go it ought to be that light reaches past obstructions if I could just just as my just as it is just as my theory hypothesized. Alright, I'm gonna stop reading these. Uh ooh, that looks pretty good. How much further do we have to go with that? Is that complete now? Reading book on dynamics? I need to get into dynamics. Isaac Barrow is tra practicing drawing. That sounds like he's staying with geometry, which gives me disposition of light. Further reasoning in disposition of light. Not sure if that's needed at this point. Oh, this is almost complete. Let's go ahead and lock it up. Prove the theory. Here we go. And that theory is fully proved. I'm going to look back and see what other people are doing. Whoa, what's going on here? Financial aid. Financial aid for me? Christian Huygens criticizes Robert Boyle's paper in the vacuum of all objects. No result effect. Robert Boyle should like to preserve the amenity between Newton and himself. And he is offering me 100 coins. And I will accept that. Now I wonder if I should be offering aid to somebody. I wonder what the advantages of offering aid are. And there's probably some politics involved with these uh, different academies, I would say. And I don't know if anyone is an employer. People are still trying to criticize me. You know what? Maybe I can like fund these guys to stop their attacks. All right, Robert Hook. Robert Hook. I think he's been attacking me a lot, right? The opinion of the secretary. On what grounds does Hook speak? I have re-examined the paper for posterity. Found no such imperfection. My paper is flawless. Uh, farcical, 
farcically inaccurate, according to uh, Boyle. Boyle and I get along pretty well, right? Pain is divided very well. I shall. Uh, that's Hook. Gotta get, it. gotta get rid of Hook. I gotta criticize Hook. Or discredit him somehow. I wonder if I can shoot him down. Or maybe it's better to catch bees with honey. I don't know. Alright, I do think it's important to pay close attention to this list here. Wait a minute, come back. Find out exactly what we have going on. So I was trying to prove the theory of light <clears throat> reaches past obstruction. Uh, Godfried was reading a book on thermology. Oh, Beecher is reading a book on optics. He's moving into my field. Barrow offers assistance to Cassini and is accepted. Anton is reading a book on optics. People are moving into optics. It's time for me to publish the paper. Boyle's paper is criticized. Boyle offers me aid. It's good that I maintain good relations with him. Cassini changed to be a professor down in Italy. Reading a book on optics. Everybody's reading optics or astronomy. Criticism of my paper. More criticism. No effects. A lot of unfounded criticism. Isaac Barrow. Oh, nice. He's doing exactly what I want him to do. He is working on a paper he wrote a paper on the fact that the speed of light is infinite and I need to continue to experiment in this field of optics to find that other discovery that it isn't. And I'm going to just shut him down. I'm going to shut down the whole Royal Society of London. Tear it down. Maybe. I guess. I don't know why I'm doing that, but it's just for fun, I guess. So in the meantime, I should write the paper. I could do more reasoning. More reasoning might uncover that uh, theory that light is not infinite, or publish the paper so I can write it. I think when you compose a paper, it actually does... I don't know if while you're composing the paper it actually helps. I think you have to have it fully complete, the theory, before you compose the paper. So, I do have it fully complete. So I'm going to compile my findings on uh, the theory that light reaches past obstructions. And here we are composing the paper. This is a thesis, and no mistake, I pride myself on having composed such a piece. Alright. That is the third paper on the disposition of light. But I'm going to hold on to it for now. And I'm going to keep track of what everyone else does. If anyone else tries to uh, publish a paper in this area... Look at these people that are criticizing that theory. I am the authority in the field, people. Do not mess with me. I better watch if somebody... Maybe I should get myself on this board somehow. Uh, Hook was even backing me up that time. I think I need to 
make more money so I can buy people off. I think that's the strategy at this point. Otherwise, I am under bombardment. Alright, so I'm not going to worry about publishing that paper just yet. It's been 20 minutes, so I'm going to put a cut in this episode. Uh, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.